Hi everybody, welcome to my hobby space. Let's see what's on the desk. Tonight I'm working on a Flesh Eater Quartz Royal Terror Geist. It's a beautiful model, but I've always been hesitant to do it because I didn't want to mess it up. I've always wanted to get it to a level where I'd feel comfortable putting on the table. It's kind of a centerpiece model. I know it's old, but I still really like the way it looks. On the Flesh Eater Quartz websites and chats that I've seen, Erin recommended building this guy in pieces and painting him in pieces. I took some old wine bottle caps and I just kind of put a little bit of glue and glued him down here onto the cork. This model comes with a large circular base. Once I've got it painted and assembled, I'm going to sketch out where he goes on here. And I'm going to build that up with cork. And since I want to use it as a mounted version, I have to make room for the uh, king here to also go onto the base. Paint brushes I like to use are these kind of interesting handled ones. It says the Artisan Shop Fine Tip Series 4. It's a size 1. These contrast paints are really, really great. When I first heard about them, I wasn't excited. But now that I've tried them, whoo they're nice. Get all your base colors done really easily. I wouldn't do a whole model and just them, but they sure do speed up the process. I Zenithal Prime this model, if you're doing mostly contrast paints, might be a better idea to just do straight white. If you go straight white, it'll make the contrast paints more prominent. I finished painting my Terrorgeist. I made another video on how to do wings using washes. I did not use that technique here. For these wings I used contrast paint, yund and yellow, on the lower half of the wings. I used contrast blood angels red on the upper half of the wings and I went over top of the red with some contrast ultramarines blue just in the upper quarter and then once that was all dried I actually mixed the Blood Angels Red and the Hund and Yellow I mixed them into an orange and applied that over the center area and once that was dry I did some washes just to kind of darken up some areas who says flesh eater quartz have to be all dark they can look colorful and still be deadly the bones mostly Ushapti bone MSP Bones Skeleton Bone Color, Contrast Skeleton Horde, Agrax Earthshade Wash. The body's all done with Incubi Darkness, and most of the red for the guts and stuff is also this Dark Angels Red Contrast Paint with some Karaborg Crimson Shade over the top. So what I'm going to do is take this cork pot stand that I found at the dollar store. I also would like to magnetize this ghoul king. So I want to magnetize him so I can put him on there or take him off and use him separately. Another base that's the same size as his base and the rock that he's supposed to stand on. I'm going to glue these together and magnetize this as well. So when he's not on there, this will be on here like that. Let's get started. Okay, so now I got the whole circle. I'm just gonna break it off around here. Well, I could raise this up extra high. So what I have to do next is you can chip them from the top outwards towards the bottom on an angle. You don't need this. Uh, cork's really quite soft. You can just kind of pull it off with your fingernails 
if you've got fingernails. Just kind of want to get rid of any factory lines. You don't want it to look like man-made. You want it to look rugged and natural. Careful not to move them while I do that. Um, just so I make sure I get them right where I want them. I'm going to just kind of color, make a line here and here. Oh, where's it go? Where's it go? Ja -ja lines line up. Move it. Lines line up. Make a couple of lines on him as well. And let's just double check that last one. Holy crap, it did move. And with minimal effort, I now have a very nice rocky looking base. This isn't glued down to the base yet, so experiment, have fun, make it look awesome. And again, just break up any straight lines and any really big, obviously flat pieces. And there, that looks a lot better with the it is all de-stressed. Actually, keep a lot of these bigger bits here. I'll use them for rocks in other terrain later. <sighs> Let's see if it worked. Worked. The next thing I need to do is go break off the edges of the cork where it hangs off the edges of the plastic. This is the messiest part. I've got some standard baking soda. And you apply crazy glue to it, it instantly hardens. You could, you could take some regular wood glue, water it down maybe a little bit, you could use Mod Podge, or anything like that. But then you have to wait 12 to 24 hours for it to dry. What I'm going to do is just kind of powder the whole thing in baking soda. Spritz it with the crazy glue. I'm going to open my window to do this because you can get some pretty stinky smells and smoke. So please use ventilation. Watery crazy glue works better for this. Some crazy glues are quite thick. Some are water or a lot more watery consistency. This one is very watery and it works great for this. Okay, and you just keep doing that until it's all finished. Work. After giving your glue a little bit of time to dry, take a really old beater brush, try to knock off any extra unhardened baking soda. I've already got a magnet on the bottom of this. The so first thing I did was I glued down my magnet. And then I did the same. We wrapped it around with baking powder and glued it all down. That's hard as rock now, so I don't think the magnet's going to come dislodged. So I'm going to just hold it right here where I want it. That's where I want that to be. And that's where I want that to be. Holding my stone where I want it, taking my magnet off, a little bit of glue right there. And crazy glue. Next, what I want to do is make him come on and off. Okay, so I've got that on there. I'm going to do the same thing with the baking soda. The prime's been dried, so what I did next is I took some just black, cheap acrylic paint, which I like to use for washes, mixed it up with some water, and I just dabbed it into all of the places where I thought 
they need is some more shadows. Uh, next one I'm going to do is take Citadel's Texture Paint Agril and Badland. I'm going to put this around the edge and on all the flat spots. If anyone knows a better way of applying this texture paint, please comment down below. Just doing the washes randomly on the rock and the ground. I'm sure most of you know what dry brushing is, but just in case I got a new viewer or a viewer that's new to painting, take a old brush, put some paint on it, brush all the paint off. There's still some on there, but it seems like it's all off. And then just lightly pull across where you want some highlights. You should almost not notice it at all. Definitely don't use good brushes for highlighting. Okay, I'm all set to go. My ground looks like ground, kind of the way I want it. Different hues of browns. And This front one's not down, so I'm gonna just gonna lift it up lightly. There's a few gaps along here and here on both sides. They're mostly glued down, but there's just a few gaps. So what I'm going to do is take baking soda and crazy glue, just fill in the gaps, drip in some glue, and that'll really secure that down. And then I'll just touch them up with a little bit of that gray highlighting paint that I had. I'm going to go over these other stones too and just kind of make sure they're blended together really well. I hope you liked the way I did his base. It's really easy. It's just cork, baking soda, some glue, dry brushing and washes really simple to do anyone could do this once you get the hang of it you really can turn some really big cool centerpiece models into just fabulous models now I haven't gone around the edge yet I'm gonna do that black later I'm really proud of how this rock comes off now I've got a hero or I'm gonna have a foot hero with a pet monster and it'll work either way. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Please come back for more videos about painting, modeling, doing bases, and other tricks of the trade. I'm no pro, but you can learn with me, and we can learn together. That's what this hobby is supposed to be about. Having fun, painting, and learning things with your friends. If you could hit that like button down below, and maybe the subscribe button too, that'd really help me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.